Right. This is uh, February, March of 2015. And we're looking at this question on DNA replication now, right? Uh, again, when you have a diagram, first thing you'll do is try and label everything that's on the diagram. It's going to make it much more easier for you to start. You will probably answer many of the questions already and your understanding will be enhanced when it comes to, under, to answering some of the other questions, the longer questions, right? So let's start here on the left-hand side here, right? Okay, let's maybe start with this will be easier. What You can see they're zooming into this part. This part, it has a circle here. We're zooming into it and then you've got structure X. What would structure X be and why? So who can tell us what's X firstly? It is going to be one of the questions that will be asked in the question itself. Right, so you should have the answer there. Good. X is the phosphate molecule, correct? Right, many learners write phosphorus, which is incorrect. It's not phosphorus, it's a phosphate. Okay, so that's the phosphate. Uh, y would be the deoxyribose sugar. Very good. Right now, if you write sugar alone, you can lose the mark. You must specify. Remember, again, they've given you a clue. They're saying the diagram below represents DNA replication. So it has to be a deoxyribose sugar. It can't be a ribose sugar. That's only found in RNA. Okay, then you've got thymine, and then these three things collectively make up molecule W. What would molecule W be? It's made up of a phosphate, a deoxyribose sugar, and thymine, which is one of the nitrogen spaces. Together, we call that what? A nucleotide, correct, Caltejo, right? Uh, then, if we look here, they showed you that this was thymine. What would V be then? Now, obviously, this is coming straight from your complementary pairing then. That's adenine. Perfect, right? Uh, and then Z. You can see Z. It's some lines in between two nucleotides. So what is that representing then? The weak hydrogen bonds. Good. Perfect. Good. Right. And then U is the only thing that's not labeled there. It's showing you together all of this. Right, and that's a DNA, perfect. So now if you come to 1.4, you'll find we've basically answered all of it, right? Molecule W and U, W was a nucleotide, U is a DNA molecule. Uh, then parts of molecule W labeled X and Y. So we needed X and Y now, not W was already labeled in the previous question. And we said X is the phosphate, Y was the deoxyribose sugar. Bond Z is a hydrogen bond. Uh, and nitrogenous base V would have been adenine, and we get that from complementary pairing. Right, then 1.4.2. Where in the cell does this process take place? Which process? It's given to you in the stem of the question on the top, DNA replication. Where does it take place? And the nucleus is correct, right? And the clue would be, where is DNA found? DNA is found in the nucleus, right? M majority of it. And name the phase of the cell cycle where replication takes place. So it's now linking with meiosis, right? Good, that's the interface. Okay, so let's just check the memorandum there. I think we've had, we had everything there. There's no real uh, options there. There's no real slashes or interpretation of the memo. It's something that's quite straightforward there.